Hello to all outsiders, it's your friend Giovanni speaking to you. Today is an important day because on 13 February 2020, exactly one year ago, so the birth of Outside Radio. Last year we were at Guglielmo Marconi's house to celebrate the World Radio Day that were also our American friends of the brave new radio. Thank you all for making it possible. Today I remember with affection and longing that beautiful day and I think of all of you. My name is Iris De Maio and I run the pre with programs. Continue Education has a partnership with a company from Italy that recruits students to come to the United States or to come to William Patterson. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, I asked uh, to Giovanni, what do you feel? Do you love? Do you think that it could be possible for you to go to to have a, a course about broadcasting? Uh, you know, when uh, you have a guy like Giovanni, you have uh, to to try uh, a lot of things. Maybe there is one that could enter between uh, pass through the world that he has towards the, the world. My name is Bridget Tarleton. I'm a senior here at William Patterson University. I'm a communication disorders major and an honors track in cognitive science. Um, in addition to that, I'm the music director at Brave New Radio. I have Bridget in class this semester um, in a course called Clinical Observation and Methods, but we train them to be able to obviously evaluate, um, determine if there's a communication disorder, and then also to treat them, work with them, and make them um, hopefully more effective communicators. I was informed that he has autism. Um, it really wasn't a curveball. I was able to pull upon substitute teaching, working as a para, my education as a communication disorder student, and at the end of the day, my own experiences growing up, uh, to be able to relate to and help Giovanni. We started planning the program. You know, what kind of music do we want to play? What do we want to talk about? That is immediately when I saw him click and he was very, very invested in what we were doing. And it was really cool to see not only the songs he picked, but why he picked them. You know, I picked this song because it's about not quite belonging. As we got closer to the broadcast, as he got a lot more excited because he was able to share this part of him that perhaps before had been lost. And then he sent me a, a little video where Jovi was broadcasting from Brave New Radio. Money, we will keep your company for one hour and we'll talk to you about discrimination, racism and bullying through the messages that are sent in the song. And to see him with the headphone, the microphone, reading something in English without fear. When he, he came back, for me it was a great emotion to see that he, he, he was so satisfied, he was so happy to, uh, to add reach to that target. You are able to connect sometimes better with individuals on the spectrum or other related language and language disorders when you have a performance aspect. And I think that was really important for us to have that communication, that understanding. A guy like this has a lot of fear to, to speak with the other. Normally, you prefer to stay alone, maybe in a corner. If it's dark, it's better. It, and when I see him in the light with the music, with the microphone, that microphone represented that he was uh, able to speak to some other people, that he was uh, able to come out from that dark corner.